Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. I'm Macy and I make cozy tech lifestyle content and today's video is my annual digital journal walkthrough and tour. I'm a designer and a front-end engineer and every year I love to design a digital journal to use on my iPad and it's just how I plan my years and stay productive. If you're new to the world of digital journaling, in this video I'm going to be sharing my favorite apps to digital journal and I'm going to be giving a tour and walkthrough of the digital journal that I designed for 2023. I hope that you enjoy this video to kick off the new year and I hope it gives you a taste of digital journaling. All right, so let's get started. All right, so now I'm gonna take some time to fill out my digital journal. Today is January 1st, the first day of the new year, so enjoy this little journal with me session. So the journal cover that I chose is this blush color. I feel like this color always makes me really happy and it's the same color as our Cozy Lee desk mat that's on my desk right now. And what I like to do is I like to write my name here and customize it. All right, so I like to keep my journal covers relatively minimal and simple, but you can go ahead and decorate it however you like. So on to the next page of the journal is the 2023 yearly calendar page. We designed this page to be very minimal and you're able to decorate your months however you'd like. So to begin, what I like to do is I like to mark different dates with the highlighter tool. So you can go ahead and mark people's birthdays or different holidays and you can color coordinate it however you'd like. And then you can go ahead and add any stickers. So if you purchase the full bundle of our digital journal, you'll have access to my sister's digital stickers. She created all these really beautiful digital stickers that just makes journaling a lot more fun. We included different stickers for each season. So there's spring, fall, and winter stickers. We also included a second yearly calendar page where you can treat it more as a scrapbook. So to add access this scrapbook view, you can tap on this picture icon on the top right. And it has all the months and blank rectangles. So in this journal view, you can basically fill this out throughout the year with your favorite pictures or you can decorate it with stickers, however you'd like. We added this page because we always wanted to fill out more things on the yearly calendar, but there was just never enough room. But it would just be nice to have a scrapbook where you're able to add many stickers to represent the different months, or you're able to add your favorite pictures. So it's just a really nice year at a glance page. We've included this doc at the bottom of every journal page. And this doc basically represents different hyperlinks to different pages and sections of our journal. So the first hyperlink is routed to our yearly calendar. The second button represents our reflections and resolutions section. I love filling out the reflections page because it gives me some time to reminisce and just be appreciative of my past year. For me, 2022 was really good actually. We created our first physical product this year and I feel like our community has really grown. We've created our own Discord server Server. I feel very proud of the past year and I'm really excited for 2023. I'm someone who kind of moves really fast in life, so being able to take this time to reflect is really soothing. So the first section is 2022 in a sentence. So I'm just gonna fill that in right now. The next section is things I've learned and things I'm most grateful for. So you can go ahead and fill this however you like. And on the bottom, there's a section for best memories. So here you can drop in any photos from your past year. So here's a photo from our past vacation in September. And a cool trick that I like to do is I actually like to crop my pictures. I like to create like abstract shapes. And this is like fun to decorate with stickers. All right, so here is my 2022 reflections page. We also included other parts 
of the reflection section. So we have this scrapbook section in case you wanted to drag in your favorite photos from the different months in 2022. We also included a blank section and you can duplicate this page however many times you'd like. And this is great if you wanna include longer journal entries. We have these Polaroid stickers, which are really great to frame your memories and your images. So if I pull in a photo, you can then go ahead and frame your image with the Polaroid sticker. And if you duplicate this page, these hyperlinks will still work to bring you back to your sections. So after the reflection section, there's also a 2023 resolution section. So on this page, you're going to be able to write your resolutions for 2023. We have a prompt that says 2023 will be a year of anything you want. I really believe in the law of attraction. So I really designed this page to be something that you can attract for the new year. So you can write things that you plan to try, things that you'll attract, as well as different goals on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out my resolutions really fast. What I really want to focus on this year is actually self-discovery. I really want to find different hobbies that I really enjoy. I definitely experienced some burnout in 2022 and I think finding more hobbies and things that I do just purely for fun is going to be a great challenge. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you've been noticing the older you get. That's why I also love digital journaling because it's this self time where I'm able to reflect and put my thoughts on paper. I just really love using these stickers. They're so colorful and poppy and it's a hobby that I've always liked. So things that I will try this year. I definitely want to try piano composition more. So piano composition is actually one of my original hobbies. I've been playing piano since I was the age of five and I love composing my own piano compositions. If you've been a long-term viewer of my channel, you'll probably notice that in one of my earlier videos in 2021, I actually featured one of my original piano compositions in the background. I'll link it in the description below. So I definitely want to do that more this year. Other things that I wanna try this year are sticking to a schedule. My schedule in 2023 was pretty chaotic. Other things I wanna try are designing more physical products. I got a taste of designing some physical products in 2022, such as our Cozy Lee Studios Zen MagSafe charger stand, but I'm really excited to expand the Cozy Lee Studios line in 2023. Being able to design and build these products with Tristan and Ashley has definitely been one of the highlights of 2022, and I'm just so excited to continue doing that in 2023. All right, so those are some things that I'm gonna try in 2023. So one of the things that I really wanna attract in 2023 is good health. I also want to attract more wholesome family moments. I'm a really family-oriented person, so I always want to create more memories with my family, and I just want to travel more with my family and make new exciting memories. All right, so for some goals of 2023, definitely go on more trips and just enjoy more leisure time. I also want to cook more meals. I used to be really into baking cute pastries, so I definitely want to challenge myself this year and do more baking and cooking. All right, so this is my 2023 resolutions page. And similarly to reflections, we also created this scrapbooking page for you to decorate it and go all out or add pictures and also a blank page for you to just write long form journal entries. So the next section of the journal is the vision board section. By the way, I forgot to mention, but on all of these scrapbooking pages, they're also hyperlinked. So if you wanted to click on any of these months, it brings you to the monthly page. We added this because it's gonna be convenient to see your plans for each month or your memories within each of these scrapbooking pages. So in the vision board page, you're going to be able to fill out whatever your heart desires or what your wish list is for this year. You can pull in different images from Pinterest. You could write whatever you'd like 
like, have fun with this page, and make sure to tag us on Instagram with your journal spreads. We would love to see how you decorate the Cozy Lee Digital Journal. There's so many different possibilities. I personally love how our journal is very freeform and customizable because I personally don't really like journals that tell me what to write. I always ended up deviating from my journal prompts, so that's kind of why this journal was inspired to be very minimal and very freeform because you can have fun with it however you'd like. All right, so I'm really excited to see everyone's vision board. For me personally, I'm gonna need some time to really plan out 2023. So other pages in this section are a wish list. So in the wish list section, you're able to fill out however you'd like. We have different sections and bullet points. So for example, I can add a wish list. So for your wish list, you can add anything that you'd like or what you really wish for. One of the things that I wish for is to travel more. I definitely wanna visit somewhere tropical because I've never been on a vacation in a tropical area. I like to fill out the subject on this top section of the template. And over here, I like to write more details. Right, so I wrote that I really want to travel somewhere tropical and go swimming. And I'm going to add this cute coconut sticker. It's the mood. And then over here, I can fill out later more detail. So that's how you use this style template. We also included a blank page for longer form journal entries. And you can again, duplicate this however many times you'd like. So the next section of the journal are goals. And this is very similar to the vision board section, but this is more goal oriented. So feel free to list out your goals for each month or also fill them out in the goals tracker section. And our next section is the bucket list section. Again, very similar to the previous sections, but this is more geared towards a bucket list. So you can fill this out monthly and share what your bucket list is per month. Feel free to plan out your bucket list on this section. The last section are journal templates. So these are sections that you can duplicate and use anywhere in the journal and they're daily focused. I'll get into this in a bit. So I'm gonna start planning for January. You may notice that when you click on one of the months, you're brought to that month's home screen. So this is the January home screen. This is a page where you're able to basically scrapbook for the month and have lots of fun. And we've created different stickers that I like to call widgets. This left section is perfect to add our widget stickers. There's different kinds. There's this type with two squares and one rectangle. There's this type where it's just two rectangles there's this section with a rectangle and two squares. We created these widget stickers so that it's easy for you to organize your information and to also have fun with your spreads. These are great to add your favorite quotes or to just write anything you want. For example, I can start decorating for January. When I think of January, I really think of cozy drinks. It's one of the coldest months in the year where I live. So I love enjoying a warm, hot matcha latte. So this is our matcha latte sticker and it's super cute. I love filling out the widgets with our different seasonal stickers. And I also love writing some quotes or just things that I wanna remind myself that month. So I definitely wanna remind myself to take things easy. If you couldn't already tell, our home screen pages were actually very heavily inspired by iPad OS. I really took inspiration from this design because I loved how you're able to add widgets to the left side of the column. I think that it's such a fun way to display information. On the right side, feel free to play around with our Polaroid stickers, or you can use our post-it note stickers. We've included several post-it note stickers we have prompted versions where there's several different prompts such as self-care, plant care, activities to try. So you can feel free to traverse through all of our posted prompt stickers. This allows you to customize your journals however you like because you get to pull in the prompts that you personally care about. You can also pull in these blank post-it stickers and write whatever you'd like. We also have bullet point stickers and this makes it super fun to drag onto the page. There's just a lot of different options in our Cozy Lee sticker pack and we're just really excited to see how you guys fill out these pages. So in the monthly homepage, we also included the calendar on the top left and these actually have hyperlinks. If you click on the month name, so I'm going to click on January, 
it brings me to this monthly calendar. You can go back to the monthly homepage by just tapping on the month name again. You can also tap on each week. This is a new feature that we added to the 2023 Digital Journal. We found that it's way more convenient to have a weekly page and being able to just tap on the week and seeing all of our journal spreads. You can see which week you're on because it will be highlighted and each month actually has its own specific color, which I personally think is a lot of fun. In the weekly journal, this is perfect for planning out your weeks. I love to use our widget stickers just to organize my weeks and write any information. We also included another widget sticker to fit this blank side over here. So that's basically a walkthrough on the different pages. And the last page that I wanna share with you all is the daily template. So here is the daily template and you can drag and drop this however many times you'd like if you'd like to plan out your day more in depth. We have a section over here where you can fill out the date. And we also have two widgets that are already here for the weather and for the mood. My mood is totally sleepy right now. <laughs> Today is actually partly cloudy. Next, we have the section for schedules. So I love using our status stickers for schedules. We have different stickers for different statuses. So we have all different kinds of status stickers that can represent what you're working on or what you plan to do. I plan to hang out with my family around five to six. So I'm gonna drag that in within those timeframes. The status stickers make it so convenient to just easily plan out your day. And I just love the colors and the way they look. And of course you can just write anything you want. So I've been waking up at 10 a.m. And this page, of course, is really fun to decorate with our stickers. We also kept this right side really freeform with this dotted grid. And here I plan to add some of our prompted post-it note stickers. I plan to do some self-care and plant care today just to kick off the new year. All right, so that is the daily page. We created this daily template without any widgets in case you don't care about weather or mood. We created this template without that daily schedule in the middle in case you just want a diary entry. And we also included just a blank page in case you just wanna freeform write anything your heart desires. So here is a sample monthly spread that my sister actually filled out. Here she used a bunch of our status stickers. She also filled out people's birthdays and she also dragged in some bullet point lists and filled it out. I really love pairing it with all of the different stickers. You can really customize for each month. So this is an example of a March monthly spread. So this is a weekly spread that's really pretty. So you can see she layered a bunch of our post-it note stickers and the My Sweet Chub stickers. And you can totally have fun with this. She added her Chaos Pineapple sticker above the Art Time Status sticker, which is really nice and funny. And our Polaroid sticker is really nice to overlay your pictures. It just frames pictures really beautifully. And here's an example of a September homepage. So she used one of our widget stickers to add some of her favorite quotes and she added some really nice fall stickers. She added a Polaroid sticker again and a to-do list sticker and it just really looks nice. This is a really nice way to get a monthly overview and I'm so excited to just explore 2023 and fill out all of my monthly home pages. And here's an example of a daily page. The weather is rainy, mood is confused and dazed. She added a widget sticker to this panel just to add some structure and decoration. And here she's using our status stickers and writing out her schedule. All right, so those are different examples of how to use our Cozy Lee journal templates. 
We're really excited to see how all of you guys have fun with our journal. If you do plan to share on Instagram, we would love if you tagged us at cozylee.studios. All right, so that is the 2023 Cozy Lee Digital Journal. I hope that this video gave you an introduction to digital journaling if you're new to it and inspired you to try something new this year. And also consider joining our Discord. Our Discord is a really warm community online where we have daily challenges and we also share Cozy Lee. So it would be awesome to see everyone's inspiration there and to keep the community growing. Again, thank you guys so much for watching me and here's to the new year. Happy new year, everyone.